today we are going to be talking about the five self-love morning habits for your soul. These are some habits that I haven't talked about before. These habits are going to be life-changing for your morning. I'll be telling you guys about just some self-love practices that are going to make you feel good. And then I'm also going to give you guys some specific ones that I have been using in the morning that have been really beneficial for my health as well. So I'm excited to share these with you guys. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Carrie Rad. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Please take a moment to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you have notifications turned on. So without any further ado, let's get into the five self-love habits for your soul. I want to start off with celery juice. Now, the reason why I added celery juice into the self-love for your soul is because I am the type of person that feels so much better when I know that I'm doing at least one thing in the morning to benefit my health. Having a glass of celery juice on an empty stomach in the morning is such a great way to allow yourself to feel like in the morning you are taking at least one step in the direction of really taking care of yourself from the inside out. Celery juice has so many incredible benefits to your health. It is anti-inflammatory, it fights against cancer, provides a source of vitamin K, vitamin C, it provides potassium for you, it helps prevent dehydration, and I'm talking about celery juice on a completely empty stomach before you put anything else into your body. I like taking the pulp out of the celery juice and just having the juice because from what I've read, the best benefits you can get is from the actual juice of the celery juice. But obviously when it comes to these types of things, there are definitely different opinions. A lot of people say to keep the pulp in and to keep it nice and hearty. And then other people say you can do it without and just have the juice. I have it just fresh juice on an empty stomach. Side note for the celery juice, I just wanna make a disclaimer that it could make you feel kind of odd at first. I definitely could feel my toxins releasing when I first started taking the celery juice or drinking the celery juice in the morning. I could kind of feel my throat loosen up with mucus and stuff like that. And so it made me think like, am I getting sick? But now it's completely turned and now I just feel incredible in the morning and um, I'm just like ready for my celery juice and I don't feel sick and it just kind of, I sort of went through a detoxification process a little bit. You could definitely like feel your body purge a little bit when you first start, but um, totally worth it because just do yourself a favor and research the benefits of celery juice and you will see endless stories of people talking about how it has completely changed their health for the better. So it's just something that I really love implementing into my morning routine. My second habit is to do a 20 minute workout every morning. And last self care summer, I definitely realized that I didn't talk much about working out. I didn't use this as a tip or a habit or a practice very regularly. And that's because I wasn't doing a regular workout routine before. Something that I'm really implementing into my life now is making sure that I move my body physically at least for 20 minutes a day. And this is really inspired by Alex because he can, see my mood and he can tell for him and when he works out in the morning he is in such a good mood all day long and when I work out in the morning I feel like I have so much more energy and that I'm in a better mood and so we have been working out together as a unit at least for 20 minutes every morning and it has been one just like such a great bonding experience for the two of us to just work out in the morning and like get a sweat together and I could just tell how happy it makes Alex it's just something that he loves that we do together. And then also it just makes me feel so much better. And it's just something that I realized like I need to move my body. I work at my computer all day long or I sit here and I film and you know, I'm in the house a lot, I'm working from home a lot and I need to make sure that I'm moving my body because it is so important for our soul, for our mind, for our health, for everything. So just dedicate some time to, even if it's just you know, a stretch. Like even if you don't even fully feel like working out, although I highly recommend to break a sweat because that is what changes the game. Like stretching, okay, fine. But if you break a sweat, it's gonna totally send all these endorphins all throughout your body that are just going to release toxins and just make you feel like you've done something so wonderful for yourself. And for the rest of the day, 
you just make better choices. When I give myself a good workout in the morning and I sweat, every the rest of the day I'm just thinking about, okay, what else, what juice can I drink to make myself feel even better? Let's go on a walk outside. Let's take long on a walk. Let's just like do more things outside. It just kind of starts your day moving in the right direction. Habit number three for the morning is to journal. And journaling is something that I mentioned in self-care summer last year, but it is something I wanna bring up again here because it has taken on a whole new meaning for me, especially in this time of life when I'm planning a wedding and I have a lot going on in my business and in my personal life and everything like that. Like it has been such a great way for me to jot down on paper, not only the things that I'm excited about, but also the things that I'm like navigating through and dealing with. And it has been my therapist, like my, my writing has become such a great way for me to understand my mindset and my opinion about things and the way that my mind is working through things. And I don't necessarily have to do it in the morning. There's times where I do it in the evening. There's times where I take a break midday and I write some stuff down. It not only helps creatively, but it also helps me just kind of get through a busy time in life where there's so much going on. And I think it's really important and it's a way to just kind of like spill all of your thoughts out and a lot of people ask me like how do you come up with things like how do you how do you stay creative how do you keep going how do you stay motivated and honestly a lot of that has to do with like my writing recently like journaling and just getting things down on paper a practice I have been doing in the morning is a three minute focus time and it can be three minutes to 15 minutes to a half hour if you really want to do it but for me like three to five minutes in the morning has been really nice to just kind of close my eyes and focus on what I'm feeling. It's sort of like a meditation, but it is a meditation with a specific focus and the focus is on yourself. I focus on things like if I worked out the morning before and my body is sore, like what part of my body is that? And I I tune myself into that part of my body and I think, oh, okay, like my thighs and my butt are sore. That's interesting. Later, I'll make sure that I stretch after um, I like do this focus or I will um, stretch right after that or whatever. Or I'll think, oh, today's gonna be a really like long day. I should take a moment to make sure that I take a deep breath this morning. And like something I should think about today is to breathe through the day. Cause when I get really busy, I like realize that I'm not taking deep breaths and I'm stressed and I'm holding it all on my chest. And so this focus time for myself helps me throughout the day when there is a stressful moment, I go, okay. And I bring myself back to that focus that I had this morning with my intentions. It's really setting your intentions in the morning. It's focusing on how you feel and setting your intentions for the day and carrying that with you as you go through all of the things that you need to get through that day. Another thing that I like to do in the morning to get me in a good mood, to get me feeling motivated, is to listen to something, read something, or watch something really motivating. So sometimes I'll watch a YouTube video that really motivates me, or I will listen to a podcast. Soul Sugar Podcast, if you would like to, will help you feel inspired in the morning. Um, I also like to read something, like right here in my office, I have this, you know, times edition of mental health and new understanding something like this in the morning where you know if I'm talking about mental health that day or if I you know am coming up with new ideas of things to talk about I love having things like this that I can physically look through and go yeah oh my gosh what an in interesting article what an interesting thought like maybe like let's talk about that on my channel let's bring that up in a podcast let's bring that up on Instagram whatever it might be we have to be absorbing materials to be able to give back to the world we have to take in to be able to like regurgitate that information back out in our own way in our own thought process so making sure that I'm consuming things that are good for my soul in the morning is a really great practice that I highly recommend even if it's just for 10 minutes just put something in that brain you know what I mean yeah <laughs> those are my five self-love morning habits for your soul let me know in the comments below what you guys do in the morning to make yourselves feel good and make your soul happy do what makes your soul happy that's like that Pinterest board that has been pinned millions and millions of times, but 
there's a reason for that because it is entirely true. I will see you guys very soon in an all new self-care summer video. And yeah, in the meantime, I hope you're happy. I hope you're good. And um, come chat with me on Instagram at Carrie Rad and definitely come on over to the podcast Instagram as well at Soul Sugar Co. And the podcast in general, if you haven't listened to it, definitely come on over to there as well. Everything is linked in the description box and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.